closed versus open top magazine pouches. First we're going to go over the obvious speed differences. These are your normal closed top pouches which I have set up in the vertical position. These are a cheap generic set of open top Kydex magazine pouches that have been set to the proper retention. So there's no question or surprise that the open top magazine pouches are quicker. On the surface, 0.78 seconds might not sound astronomically important, but if we think of time as bullets downrange, it becomes unignorable. A moderately competent shooter can place four rounds accurately in one second. It would be careless to think that the bullets couldn't be shot back at us at the same pace, regardless of the accuracy. This time difference is important because outside of proactive or emergency reloads, there's also the plethora of random but common enough circumstances where your extra magazine will be used as an immediate replacement for a user error or equipment malfunction. This is something we just saw in body cam footage two weeks ago from Ohio. The officer gets one shot off and then experiences a shooter-induced secondary malfunction. I would also argue this is the primary reason we should be carrying multiple magazines, because we may need to scrap an entire magazine worth of ammunition, not because of the glorified and likely less common extended shootouts where we are expending all of our ammunition. In these situations, you might only be getting one round out before you're left with a gun-shaped beating stick. Whether you are returning fire or initiating it at that time, you are now faced with a gap of time that is further extended with closed top magazine pouches, meaning in any horrible situation you find yourself in, you've given yourself an additional three bullet disadvantage to recover from, at minimum. The most common concern regarding open top pouches is their retention, meaning the magazines will fall out. So we tested some positions that the magazines could be exposed to. It should be noted that the magazines shown here are the loaded 10 round communist mags, but everything in this video has been completed with a fully loaded 33 round big stick magazine to the same level of success. So we weren't able to get either magazine to fall out. The second magazine pouch did have some dirt wedged down inside which made it harder to pull. However, I don't believe closed top pouches would have prevented that to any worthwhile degree. These tests gave me confidence to say that the magazines aren't coming out of open top pouches unless they're purposefully accessed. But I have heard a further concern in regards to retention from persons. I may be entirely clueless as to what that immediate concern entails, but these were the worst scenarios we could come up with. I don't know if you guys can think of any other reason or scenario to dissuade the use of open top mag pouches, but please let me know if I'm missing something. The most realistically horrible thing we could think of outside of being shot with your own bullets would be to lose your magazine. If you're working for an agency you get smacked for losing their property, but otherwise it's just a loss of your $30 investment. But we tried everything to get these to fall out, and to put a nail in this coffin we decided to resurrect some old tricks that finally came in handy to show that these mags aren't coming out by any force or position of your body unless you want them to. Yep. With plenty of examples of persons immediately requiring a fresh magazine, it hurts to see closed top pouches as the overwhelming choice for most agencies. A further disadvantage is that most closed top pouches can't accommodate extended base plates without modification, and adding the variable of retention to something that doesn't require it only breeds further possibilities for hang-ups. Just like the retention buttons on a holster, one out of a hundred times you're going to fumble with that velcro or snap on the pouch no matter how proficient you are. We're in a death race for hundreds of a second and fighting your gear just doesn't make sense in that context.